What do you think of the Japanese? How brutal of an enemy were they? Well, from, from day one, whenever I joined the Marine Corps, they, they started telling us what the Japs had. Of course, I already knew that they'd bomb Pearl Harbor. And they'd, they would tell us stories about the Guadalcanal, what happened in the Guadalcanal. And uh, so they, they gave you all of the information that they had, and I imagine they added some to it, too, to be truthful with you. But uh, I'm, some of them, I think, that uh, was telling the stories, I doubt if they'd ever been to Guadalcanal. But at the same time, they, they give us that and, and tell you what they were, how the sadistic that they really were. So you went in hating them. And in fact, the business, uh, when I went into the Marine Corps, hit boot camp out in San Diego, uh, I never had thought about killing anybody in my life. You know, I mean, I was just one of those types that never give that a thought. And uh, we had six weeks of boot camp. By the time that I finished boot camp, I can honestly say that I could have cut a Jap's throat and never blinked an eye. And after I got over there and seen what was going on, uh, I hated them more then than I'd ever hated them. And, and I guess as long as I breathe a breath, I'll hate the Jap soldier, you know. It's no way getting around it. And my wife said one time, said, you keep calling them Japs, you think that's the proper thing to do this day and time? I said, I don't give a damn whether it's proper or not. To me, he's a damn Jap then and he's still a damn Jap. I'm talking about the soldier himself. And, and I said, as long as I live, that's what I'll call him. And as long as I live, I'll hate the SOB too. Uh, but, uh, uh, I've been to Japan and I don't hold any grudges against, you know, the Japanese people. But the Jap soldier, I hated him and I still hate him. I've seen Marines tied up to a tree and used for bayonet practice. I've seen them, uh, their heads cut off. Uh, I've seen them, their testicles cut out, uh, penis cut off. Uh, do just about anything that you could possibly think of, the Japs would do that. I've seen them use a bayonet on people, maybe 50 or 60 bayonet thrusters through, through the guy, and where any one of the first one had killed him, and he just keeps keeps going, you know, and keeps, I guess they all took turn or whatever, I don't know what the hell they thought of, but they're, they're a, a brutal uh, uh, enemy and it's a sadistical enemy. They just uh, uh, and have no feeling for anything or anybody. And they, they uh, was one of the, the type that would, uh, wouldn't surrender and they fought until death. And uh, I, I tried to accommodate as many of them as I could while I was out there. They wanted to die to the for the emperor. I tried to help them along with that with that deal. To learn more about Marine R. V. Bergen, read his book Islands of the Damned, available autographed at marinervbergen.com.